thanks to the old fella back if you knew old Mr. P, whatever you want to call me, Pognacious. Um, delicioso, so that's that. I can never get that pronounced that right. Send me this link, right? <coughs> you know, PD, <laughs> no, um, but uh, well, anyway, uh, information is all down below as usual, of course, and everything else. This is, um, right, it's an interview. Man with a mission shared the story of their creation. There you go. Um, it's not it's not long, but um, it's it's a brief interview, um, and um, it's just over four minutes long. But I thought, well, it's sent it, Mister. Let let's do it. It's at the Reading Festival as well. Interesting. There we go. Um, yeah. So you can you can all the all the infos there. So uh, Harriet Rose caught all the backstage action. So that's who that's who's doing the interview. So anyway. Anyway, anyway, so I'm trying not to sneeze. It's baking, it's about 32 degrees. Why? <sighs> right, anyway, shut up, you old devil. Go on, let's get, let's get, let's get in here. Let's get them up here. Let's get them up here. There we go. Looks warm there too. Well, it was a few years ago, I think this was. Anyway, I can't say boom, boom, can I? Because it's not a tune. Let's just do this. I've got Johnny here of Man With A Mission. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Reading Festival, the sun is shining. It's been such a great day. It was such a great moment. It's so fun <laughs> to be back in the UK, really. What, what was the vibe like? The vibe, it was amazing. I mean, like Reading Festival. It, 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 this is actually one of my favorite festivals in the whole wide world. Really? It is. I mean, a lot of my favorite bands performed here. It's truly like a dream come true to us, you know. Tell me, tell me why it's your favorite festival. Is it just because, have you actually come here as a punter? Have you only ever been here to perform? We've, we've, been, to, we've been in the UK uh, a couple of times by touring, but I've never been in the Reading Festival ah, before. Oh, so this is your first it's time. It's amazing, really. And I need to talk, what is life as a wolf like in the music industry? <laughs> It's it's quite different from you guys, you know. Um, we're half human, half wolf. Yeah. And what 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 disappoints us most is like summertime. It, it's cool in <laughs> the UK, but like in Japan, it's damn hot, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. You yeah. must be sweating your tail off in that heat. <laughs> no, it's, this is not a mask. This is what we look like. I know. <laughs> no, but it's in the heat, like in that heat, fur. Yeah. You can't survive in that Definitely. fur. Yeah. I mean, on stage as well, the heat must be insane. Um, I w you're lucky here. I mean, this is like the hottest it ever gets. So oh, if really? you're okay in this. Oh, I mean, this is smooth for us, man. And you were actually born in a lab. That's correct, right? That's right, yeah. Made by a professor, a mad one. Yeah. yeah, he must have been crazy, but he's created something wonderful. Thank you so much for saying that. Really. M music kind of made you a, a, a good wolf, though, didn't it? That's right. We've been doing a lot of, what, evil what I call duties or something like that. Evil duties, Evil I like duties it. in the whole wide world, but one day the professor decided to ice us in the Antarctic. Yeah, and just make, just chill you out for a this, couple of years. That's right, but when we were iced, we were listening to the music that was going on all over the world. Oh, sick, so they were just piping the music into that's you. That's right, yeah. Okay. And um, I mean, it just moved our heart, you know, so if we had a chance to get out of that ice one day, we definitely wanted to perform. And who, was there any specific artist that sort of inspired the Wolf family? Yes, yes. Uh, all the, especially all the music that was going on in the 90s, alternative guitar rock kind of stuff. Sick. Nir Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, I love Dinosaur it. Junior, you know. Even the mixture, Rage Against the Machine. Oh, it, okay, it, it okay. Foundation. I feel like that is like Wolf music, though. It, it is. I mean, combined with a lot of, you know, uh, essence in uh, all the rock music history. Yeah, I mean, it's important to get that music basis and you kind of had it in the weirdest but best way possible. Uh -huh. What about now? Like, you're here now at Reading Festival. Are you going to get a chance to go and check out some of the artists that are playing today? Yeah, I definitely want to. Uh, actually, uh, today we met Don Broco that toured with us before. Sick. They're, they're, those guys are probably actually uh, playing, playing right tomorrow, now. Right? Oh, tomorrow. So before, right? Oh, yeah. sick, sick, sick. And your fifth album, Chasing the Horizon, came uh -huh. out this year. Uh -huh. How has the response been? Has everybody loved it? So far, it's been good, yes. Uh, luckily, uh, a lot of people listen to it, actually purchased it, you know? That's but, what you need, that's, that's what, what you need. need. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But, what's, what's the difference between fans here in the UK and fans in Japan? Um, well, as long as you like music, it doesn't differ that much. Oh, really? It doesn't differ that much, but I definitely say that 
a lot of people are huger in the UK, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, so the security guys are like, get, God damn it, they're so huge. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a bit bigger here, yeah, are they? Yeah, just, a bit big, you know? just, just bulky. <laughs> yeah, so. Do you need a lot of security? Um, in our, in our life in Japan, we need a lot of security. Yeah, right now, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we get to, you know, uh, hire a lot of securities in the UK too. <laughs> and do you ever find, you know, obviously life, a part of your life was spent doing evil stuff. Uh -huh. When you're performing, sometimes people can piss you off, I'm sure. You know, stuff might happen. Do you ever feel yourself going back into the evil wolf life? Well, you know, uh, just like you guys, when we get tamed, we get up, but uh, it doesn't matter. We, we are used to getting tamed, you know? Okay, okay. So, you no, know, because you know, like, I don't, I, I can't, I can't know the experience of a wolf. Uh -huh. So, I, but you're just the same as humans. You get right. I mean, half human, especially from the heart, you know? The heart is human. That's the most important bit, right? That's the most important. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, thank you so much. It's been lovely to meet you, and hopefully you'll come by the studio and we can have a bit more fun. Definitely. Definitely. See you later. Bye. Right. There you go. Good interview, though. I did like, I did like the interview, just that they seemed to swear a bit too much, didn't she? But apart from that... Interview is good. That's one of the better interviews. You know, it's like it's more casually type thing and talking about stuff. I, I like that. I prefer that sort of thing than to you know people like digging into the past and stuff and all the you know you know you know what I mean digging up. Oh, you did this, you did that sort of thing. That was great. That was absolutely great. I do like it when they do things like that. I might. I don't know if I'll bleep bleep the words out. You know, but. Uh, uh, it's just me. It's just that uh, YouTube are getting a bit funny about uh, bad language and things like that. But uh, but anyway, anyway, don't worry. Um, yeah, it's good. It was good. It was good. It was well worth a well worth a watch. Um, I'll see if um, I'll see if I do want an interview with me. <laughs> yeah, doubt it. But anyway, anyway, there you go, folks. So just just drop this one. Information's down below. The links there. Go and check them out. Um, and the radio station, I forgot what the name of it is, but it comes up at the end. And uh, but yeah, go and check them out. Well, the link will take you to uh, wherever the radio station is. So there you go. I'm just looking here to see if it tells me. Um, oh yeah, Foo Bar. There you go. It's at Foo Bar Radio. Okay, there you go. So go and check them out. Well, go and check out who else have interviewed as well. That'd be good. Anyway, so enough for me rabbiting on. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so, so much for all your comments, all your support, and everything else. You're all absolutely awesome. And, of course, please stay safe. And this old fella will be back. Bye for now.